All right, as you can see, I am approaching a highway. This is 295. This is not necessarily my favorite highway, but it is a quick one to get me home. Just turn on my seat because it is a little chilled. It's not cold, but it's a little chilled. Um, I don't have my chaps on or anything. And I'll probably turn it off before I get home. But what do I want to talk about today? The, the big thing that I think I should talk about today is meeting other riders. I don't seem to have a lot of riders on my channel because I'm usually out on my own or out with my wife. Once in a while we'll go out on a group ride, but not all that often because I don't like, okay, we have to be at this point by this time and this point. But if I'm in a hurry to get somewhere, I'm in a hurry to get somewhere. But even when I'm doing that, I like to set up a, I'm gonna stop at this location or that location. Um, and ooh, that looks pretty. Happy shiny squirrel, let's pull over. I know not everybody does that. I've, I've seen a lot of people who seem all of their things are with other people. There is nothing wrong with that. Um, I just swear, every time I've been in a group ride, they just do stuff that will irk you. I've been riding a long time. Um, I like riding alone. There are times I like riding with friends. Um, I don't know a lot of these people that well. Does that mean I couldn't get to know them? No. But I've spent so much time abroad and doing stuff that you don't normally... I haven't had the years of being in one place going to one dealership. I mean, yeah, I've been going to this dealership for two years. The dealership before was two years. Um, the dealership before that really sucked. It was a Honda dealership and they weren't into clubs and that and that particular dealership I wish I'd have known when I first got up here how bad they were. No, I'm not going to say who they were. But let's just put it this way. They're close to this area. And uh, I noticed anymore, you don't really see a lot of bikes there. I think there's a reason for it because the last time I took my bike in, I was told point blank, we don't work on that kind of engine. I'm like, it is the same engine on five other bikes that you have sitting in right now that are brand new. The only difference is the engine size or the transmission. The engines were exactly the same. Not the engine size, tank size, sorry. And the guy looked at me. And I go, your uh, bike right there, I can't remember what it was, uh, the start with an F. The Fury, same engine. The Sportster, the 1300 Sportster, same engine. So when they told me that, I was like, yep, I never went there again. I either did my own maintenance or I went somewhere else. For that one, I just started doing my own maintenance. It was an old bike, 13 years. I sold it when it hit 14. I did love that bike. It was a good bike. There's times I miss it. But it was getting to, you know, up there in years, way up there in miles. Could I have had it for another 100,000, 200,000 miles? Probably. But I was getting older, and I'm like, you know, this bending over, leaning down, laying on the road just is not working out for me. So when we were in Florida, we just drove one of these, and the next thing I knew, I was buying a trike. Sorry, I gotta get in front of this truck. But what's I gotta do with meeting people? Well, you don't spend a lot of time, like I, I probably just spent a good 30, 40 minutes talking to some strangers, really nice guys. I think we could end up being friends, but it's just sit there and talk with them. And it was funny, because I'm talking military experience, and they're, oh, I've been here, I've been there. I'm like, okay, when were you there? Well, I was there for a week at this time period. I was like, oh. I'm like, what? I go, I was there for three years. So my experiences were different. 
yeah, I can meet other military riders, most of which now are much younger than me. Because most military do not retire in the D.C. area unless you're a high officer. If we weren't making the money we're making, we wouldn't be here. Um, so yeah, we're probably going to move when uh, we decide we're retiring, retiring. What does that mean? That means at some point, I will be picking up everything and moving to a different location. I will probably still be doing videos because I enjoy this. And I will still be doing woodwork. I'll still be doing Santa. And God knows I'll be, if I'm retired, I'll go back to substituting because I enjoyed it. It gave me a, okay, I don't want to work today. I'm not. A few long-term sub where you're stuck for that time period. And I've covered people for a number of things. And yes, I have workmates. None of them ride. And though now two of them live up near me, technically I think it's three. I'd, I'd have to look, but I know at least two live somewhat near me. But I wouldn't want to give the wrong impression by inviting just one person over because I'm a private person. I, I like my privacy. My wife likes her privacy even more than me. And, you know, it's just the way things are. Alright, we're going to do a break here. I'm going to turn these off and turn them back on in a minute.